Okay, Edward. Tomorrow we're gonna put you in the field right here in the river. We're gonna drop you off in the chopper. As soon as you get out, I want you to head up the slope to the east. I make a traverse along the east formation? Yeah, you come all the way up to the top of the hill. Focus on the fault. You can go back down the other side if you got time. We're gonna take rock chips, soil, pan concentrates. How many samples do we want to see? Take a couple samples every 50 meters. And I want you to focus on that fault. We're looking for copper and we're looking for gold. In the remote highlands of New Guinea, geologists are engaged in a classic treasure hunt. Somewhere beneath this lush and wet jungle, they believe they will find a significant deposit of precious minerals. The odds are stacked against making a big discovery. But years of systematic groundwork have led geologists to this area, and each new day in the field comes with a hope that they will find what they're looking for. Back in the field station, the harvest of exploration comes in the form of rock core samples. Each sample is carefully tested for its magnetism, its chemistry, and its mineral content. And piece by piece, a picture of the geology beneath the jungle is revealed. There are enormous challenges ahead involving engineering, the environment, the social impact, and sustainability. If they can't be overcome, the mine will never open, no matter what riches lie beneath. In the new age of mining, there is a new set of ground rules that must be followed. <laughs> 